Club 45 in Malvern, Speaker Rosalie Ahern. When we think of the word extraordinary, we're immediately led to think of this special person, that special place, that particular event, all of them extraordinary. But when we think about it, we look around the world and we see that we are surrounded by extraordinary things everywhere we look. And if we even just think of extraordinary people in our history, in our recent past, we can think of lists and lists of people that would make the cut as being extraordinary. My number one man is Shakespeare. But there can be no one more extraordinary in my view than Shakespeare. But if we also think there was the extraordinary little three-year-old prodigy Mozart absolutely meets the definition of extraordinary. Churchill, now he was extraordinary on two levels. He was an extraordinary failure at Harrow School. And then years later, full of honours, full of achievement, he returned to his old school and he gave an extraordinary speech. He stood in front of the pupils of Harrow. Young men, never, never, never give up. And that was Churchill's extraordinary speech to the young men of Harrow. There's Elvis, there's the Rolling Stones, the extraordinary George Gershwin and Irving Berlin, Dolly Parton. But what about the extraordinary people we will never know? Who conceived the Sphinx and the pyramids? And who masterminded their construction? The Parthenon, the Colossus of Rhodes, and all the other wonders of the ancient world. Then there is the everyday extraordinary. The transport systems of major cities. Have you ever thought about the extraordinary planning of Melbourne's tram network? It is a work of genius. Then we look to our families and we see extraordinary there in so many ways. The care we take of each other, the circling of the wagons during a crisis, the pride we take in the success of each other, and our strong desire for the happiness and success of everyone, and the extraordinary joy at the arrival of each new baby into that family. 